Hey guys, here's an update for my Blender 2.8 PBR texture mapping add-on. I added the feature to connect emission maps. Here in Substance Painter I have a simple model with an emission map and now I export the textures that I will use in Blender 2.8. As in some previous parts I used the Unity 5 standard metallic setup because this contains the OpenGL normal map that we can use in Blender and the emission map as well. After exporting I open Blender 2.8 with this project that contains the low poly model and then I add the textures albedo, normal map and metallic. This was already possible with the previous version. I click the button map textures and the node setup is created for the PBR textures. But what is missing is the emission map. But now you can add an image texture node, load the emission map and again click map textures and a new node setup is created that uses an emission shader and also combines this with the principal shader by using an add shader node. I load the texture here, then I press map textures and here we can see the emission map. You see I have the bloom effect enabled in the rendering settings and now to make it glow you can increase the strength of the emission shader. And that's pretty much it, you can add now your emission map and just press map textures to create the node setup. We can also have a look at the python code, I have an operator here. And when this operator is executed I get the node tree and now I have access to all the nodes in the shader editor. I get the node for the principal shader, for the material output and the image texture nodes and after that I just have to connect these nodes, the outputs to the inputs. I wrote a method for this which is called addLink and with this I can link an output of a node to an input of a second node. I can also set the color space when this attribute color space is available which is true for the image texture nodes and I have a second method called add link by index that I use to link inputs by defining an index. I use this for the add shader because it has two inputs that have the same name called shader and in this case I identify the inputs by index. Okay that's it, I know there is a lot of hard coded stuff but I will make it available in the add on preferences. Guys I hope you like this new feature and if you like my channel as well then don't forget to subscribe. Consider supporting me as my patron, this would really help a lot. And if you have any questions add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.